right. So this is the second part of uh, of my lecture uh, in reg uh, on uh, five factor model and hexaco model. So hexaco model is also uh, quite scientifically backed and very popular among research psychologists. And we often use this scale to uh, investigate many psychological outcomes. So unlike five factor models, uh, hexaco has more factors, even though those factors, uh, they sometimes they, they also have a, a quite similarity between those, uh, between uh, among those, among their uh, factors. Uh, two of the factors of, uh, of the hexaco model is very similar to five factor that is that are those are extraversion and conscientiousness and the other four uh, are completely different from the five factor model and it it was based on uh, on a lot of uh, studies in psychology in, in research uh, in, in personality psychology uh, and this is very unique, and some of those factors were not are not covered by the five factor. Uh, so before proceeding to the next topic, uh, you can try uh, the hexaco personality test, and you can compare uh, compare the result uh, between the big five personality test and also the hexaco personality test. And please do let me know what you found out, what you what you find out. Uh, whether those uh, two results are fundamentally different or similar uh, in your opinion. So the research uh, in hexaco model is significantly less yeah, than the five factor, even though this, is, this model is also popular, uh, it's less uh, popular than the five factor model uh, because a five factor model offers a more uh, simple, straightforward explanation to human behavior uh, and Hexaco model offers more, but uh, more factors. But sometimes, uh, research psychologists often find it uh, too comprehensive and too complex yeah, to apply to their research. And this model was developed by lexical studies. So uh, the researcher found uh, those uh, six factors from uh, from. Uh, lexical hypothesis. So they analyze adjectives uh, in many, many languages. So the, f uh, the first language that they investigate is English, uh, of course. So by assessing, by evaluating those adjectives, they apply the same method uh, that, uh, that Michael, uh, uh, that Paul uh, Costa and also McRae uh, use, that is the factor analytic method, the factor analysis. And they found six different uh, uh, six different dimensions that uh, that reflects human personality uh, in overall, yeah, as a unity. So the first dimension is honesty, humility. So this dimension concerns on uh, the tendency or whether someone could be fair or genuine when dealing with other people, or whether someone could have. Uh, could be cooperative to other people uh, when some uh, and when when in a condition that you could exploit uh, other people uh, whether you would do that would will you take that uh, that that opportunity to exploit other people or whether you choose not to exploit uh, them for for your own uh, good for your own sake and the second dimension is that emotionality so it also concerned on the kin altruism, so this is uh, related on uh, related with uh, empathetic concern or emotional attachment towards other people. Uh, whether you feel could feel connected to other people and feel empathetic, and you could feel what others feel. And the uh, next one would be the extraversion. This is very similar to uh, to extraversion in five factor model. And, the sec and then the next one would be agreeableness. Yeah, agreeableness. So uh, this is actually quite similar to uh, to five factor agreeableness in the five factor model, uh, but uh, it only differs a little bit, slightly differs a little bit. So basically, agreeableness means that uh, someone who has higher score in this uh, in this factor would show tendency to be more forgiving, more tolerant, more cooperative 
even when they are exploited by these people. Yeah. So being permissive, I would say. And the next one would be conscientiousness. Uh, this is also very similar to the factor in the five-factor model. So it, it's basically related to the tendency of becoming uh, engaged in a task-related in end of four, uh, whether you are whether you you are more uh, organized or whether uh, or not being organized. And the last dimension is that uh, the openness to experience. Um, and this is also, ex it's actually quite similar to the openness, yeah, in the five-factor model, only slightly different a little bit. And it's a tendency to become engaged in the idea-related behavior, so it, uh, in differ, sorry, so uh, it reflects the, our tendency towards creativity, intelligence, intelligence, and imagining, thinking, or, or basically creativity. So it's, it covers more. Uh, then create in, in just creativity, yeah, uh, as co as uh, as it was covered by the five factor model. So in in the five factor model, openness concerned more on the creativity, but openness to experience in hexaco model it covers goes beyond the, the creativity itself. Yeah, so it also covers the Im the imagination, learning new uh, experience, and also a more like an idea related in the four. So that would be the uh, the last part, uh, the end of this uh, section. Uh, I hope that it it is uh, it is helpful for you to understand uh, this personality model. So if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to drop me an email or just type your questions uh, anonymously in the spreadsheet uh, on the link on this description on this video. So thank you very much. So I hope uh, I hope you have a good day for the rest of your day. Thank you.